Hello and welcome back to my channel or if you are new here. Hi, my name is Ness and I like to talk about books. This just arrived and I'm so excited. This is the October Fairly Adult box. I've forgotten the theme and I've forgotten what book this is. I can't remember whether this is one I'm looking forward to or not. So I'm just generally excited on a Sunday. I forgot that every even come on a Sunday. So, so I'd settled myself in for like a quiet day of reading and doing housework. But then when this came, I just grabbed my makeup bag. I was like, I'm getting this over. Open. I can't wait to open this. I'm sick of waiting. Also, I was like, this has come really, really early and then realised it's actually the 20th of October and I am shocked. Where is this month going? I had the option to combine the Romantasy subscription and the adult one and I didn't do that because I'm going to cancel my Romantasy subscription just after the new year but it really annoys me that I'm paying for postage twice. So the theme for the adult box for October is Forbidden Spells. I haven't looked at the title on the back, not that I could see it anyway holding it up because I'm so blind. I'm really hoping that it's going to be cosy because the theme card looks cosy. Maybe it's one to add to my November TBR if I actually manage to get through all of those cosy fantasy books. Oh I don't know why October I was expecting something dark but this seems very whimsy. Oh, I don't think this is a book I've heard of. I've not heard of this, but this looks like whimsy fantasy and it could very well fit with my November TBR. Sorcery and small magics. I've not heard of this at all. This is a lovely edition. I don't know if this is a redesign. I'm gonna have to Google. So this is a cover change and it has a few hundred reviews on Goodreads and the reviews are really, really good. So I'm actually looking forward to reading this one. This seems to be more of a romance, character-based, um, slow burn, grumpy sunshine. So I did just check, is this actually the adult fantasy subscription or is this the romantasy? I prefer this design so much more. So let's see what else it's got. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's so old to me. Right, we'll come back to the end papers. There's actually a lot going on. I absolutely adore the reverse dust jacket art. I wish they'd put this on the front. I know people don't like characters on the covers, but I think this is gorgeous. There's something so... I don't know, I think I just like the forest design of this. It's quite old to me. I would have loved to have had this with this foiled, but it is Orbit, and I think that is a requirement of Orbit to have it that way. Which is a shame because someone spent so much time doing this for it not to get like the full effect. The filed hardback is definitely different. It's like a different design. A bit more cartoony than they usually go. I can't tell if I really like it or really hate it. Maybe it's okay. The end papers are absolutely gorgeous and they've continued on with this filed end paper design. And I love how autumn it is for October. And the back end papers are also really gorgeous. I bet for people who like this book, this is a really desirable edition. And I don't really say that that often. What is this? So I just opened this by accident. I don't usually do that. But behind the um, find out about the author, it says chapter 14 and it's like annotated. I'm guessing by the author. Isn't this so cute? So is this a chapter that's in the book? Oh my god! Yeah, there's an annotated chapter as bonus content and an author letter bound in the book with a digital signature. I think that is really, really cool. There's the author letter with the digital signature. This book isn't pen signed, but I still stand by that if you like this book and you like this author, I think this is a really desirable item. This is going on my shelves and I think I will reverse the dust jacket if I can find some protective covering to buy for the underneath. This is the first in a trilogy according to Goodreads. This book is about two characters that are cursed to be together. Leavander Lovage is a master of small magic. He can summon butterflies with a song and turn someone's hair pink by snapping his fingers. Such minor charms don't earn him much admiration. But anything more elaborate always blows up in his face, which is why Leo vowed years ago to never write powerful magic. That is, until a mix-up involving a forbidden spell binds Leo to obey the commands of his longtime nemesis, Sebastian Grimm. Grimm is Leo's complete opposite, respected, exceptionally talented, and an absolutely insufferable... I don't know how to say that word. I'm just going to put it on the screen. What? I've never seen that before. 
The only thing they agree on is getting caught using forbidden magic would mean the end of their careers. They need a counter spell and fast. Much to their horror, they need to work together to undo the curse. This seems light and fluffy. In some of the comments on Goodreads, people said that this had funny elements to it as well. Oh, I really want to add this to my November TBR, which is like my cozy fantasy one. If you want to see what I'm reading, in that month you can go to the last video and if there's anything that you think I should replace it and swap it out with please let me know. I think this is one of the better designs that they've done this year. It feels really special in my hands especially with that annotated chapter. So for this I give Fairy Loot a 10 out of 10. I think that there was books that I would have rather have seen in this edition for this month but I do appreciate that they've taken into account when they've been designing it that it is autumn. So thank you so much for watching. I just really wanted to open this and get this up super quick. Um, given my past history with the Fairy Loot Isle box this year, um, I just didn't want to wait anymore. So I'm hoping to have at least two videos out next week. So if you want to see more content from me, please consider subscribing. And yeah, that's it. Bye guys.